Happy holidays, everybody. Okay, so every year um, I try to come out with a gift guide that I've been taking notes on throughout the entire year. Usually gifts that are not your ordinary luxury soaps or luxury candles. Something that's a little bit more personal or thought out for the person that you're purchasing for or getting a gift for. And I usually go for the five love languages. So words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, and then obviously gifts physical gifts. So I'm going to go through a list of what I have here. I have quite a few and I also did ask for some suggestions from you guys. So I do have a lot of ideas from you in here as well. Let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I have here is a recommendation from my friend Katie Dalebout and she talked about giving someone a life enhancing hack. So Katie's example is that she uses cinnamon every single day and then her boyfriend from years back gave her a cinnamon shaker thing that she uses every day because he saw that she needed something like that and um, he kind of like filled that void. So I went through some gifts that I've received that have really enhanced my life. So the first thing here is this spatula thing it's like they're like tongs but it's from the store called heath ceramics and my friend heather got me this and this is totally something that i wouldn't normally reach for visually because looking at it it doesn't seem so extraordinary but it's great because i can use it as a spatula i can use it as tongs and it's a great like stir stick um, surface area thing so i've been using this a ton ever since i got it it wasn't until this video that i realized um how important it is in my life so if I didn't have this I would go out and buy it for myself immediately so to me this is a life enhancing hack another one is this bagu bag that my cousin Amy got me so this folds out into a bigger shopping bag type thing which is fantastic for if you're grocery shopping if you're doing laundry it's easy to clean it's a fun print it's kind of a personal print because I love mushrooms. Another life enhancing hacked gif that a friend gave to me. It's a little like scrubbing Japanese style towel thing. Dries super fast. So I bought one of these about a year ago. And it was funny because I was going to a bar just a couple months ago with a friend of mine. And she came up and she's like, oh, I got you this. Um, I just started using one of these exfoliating towel things. It's from Japan. She got it from Erewhon, but she's like, it's Japanese and um, it makes your skin super soft and it feels really clean, so I got you one too. And this is something that's like $15 at a grocery store, um, which most people don't know about it. I happen to know about it because I just bought one, but she was so excited about it that she got one for me and surprised me with it. And yeah, so I switched it out and uh, started using this one. I really like it. I love the texture of it. The old one that I have, I just threw in the wash, and now it's um, just whenever I need to rotate them out, I can switch it over to the other one. So, yeah, one of these scrubber towels, I think the brand is called Goshi, but she got it at Air One. Next on my list, I have classes or a workshop. So last year, I got my boyfriend a, um, a workshop for a wood shop class, uh, which I thought was a great idea because he was really into woodworking back then. If you know someone who's really into cooking or starting to be really into cooking, I think a workshop or a class, cooking class would be fantastic. I took a um, cooking class through New York Times for donabe, which is uh, a Japanese style of cooking or pot pot essentially. And um, it was such a fun class. I couldn't stop talking about it afterwards. And then um, there's actually a New York Times cooking kit. It's like a huge box oh, that you can purchase. It's super heavy, but it's a really big box and it's filled with Donabe essentials. So if you know someone who already likes Donabe cooking or different styles of cooking through New York Times, you can get them an essential box. Or you can just go to a grocery store, like a Japanese grocery store or something like that and buy these individual ingredients. Yeah, I think a class or a workshop is a fantastic idea. Obviously there's like ceramics workshops, ceramic memberships, pickling classes, even on Airbnb locally, there's different activities that you can do. So I think classes and workshops are really fun and creative and also it's an activity that you can learn from. So I live in LA and I feel like I, I mean, I tend to neglect 
everything that's available in LA, right? So there's a lot of architecture tours and garden tours and I subscribe to this newsletter that talks about like local tours within Northeast LA. So there's this haunted tour that's available, which I think is super fun. So if you look up a local tour in your local city, that's a great way and also entertaining way to know your city a little bit more. Or even if you're on a vacation with someone, like I went to Louisiana earlier this year and my cousin booked us all a um, like a garden tour. It was super fun because we got to learn different styles of homes in New Orleans. Um, we also went on a haunted tour which is super fun and hilarious. Someone in my YouTube comments said to support local businesses like um, local Airbnbs and I live in LA. I live in East LA so if I were to do this I would book something in West LA because I hardly ever go there. But obviously you can do anywhere else too. So um, a lot of people in LA will go to Palm Springs or Joshua Tree. So if you book something like that, it would be super fun. Kind of like a mini staycation situation. This one I really like. This is also a suggestion from one of you guys. It's a gift card to a local restaurant. So if there's a new restaurant out there that you want to try, um, or that you know your friend wants to try, get them a gift card there. A gift card to a restaurant is implying that they get to go with whoever they choose or themselves and it doesn't have to be you. So I think that's a great option. Local services. So home cleaning, like if you know someone who doesn't have a house cleaner and you get them someone to deep clean their place, it's such a service, an act of service that I would love, you know, like I, I never clean my car. So my boyfriend took my car out once and um, brought it to the car wash and just like gave it a little clean. It just feels really good and this is not something that I would normally think for myself. I know most people wash their cars and stuff, but I don't really think about that. So a service like that is fantastic. It could be like um, getting a fancy mani-pedi, it could be getting a facial. Something that I do multiple times a year is I'll take my shoes to a shoe repair and that can add up. So if you uh, reach out to someone and say, hey, give me all your shoes and then I'll take them to the shoe repair and then get them repaired for you. That's a service and also it's something that they already love, that, that they're already invested in. So someone mentioned this in the comments, but local consumable goods, like local coffee, pastries. She even said go out to like a Mexican bakery and then get a bunch of pastries from there. That I would love. Jams, jellies, pickles. There's a store called Cookbook that I really like that's kind of close by to me. Um, that will go there every once in a while and everything's like really pricey and stuff like that. But if you were to purchase a gift for a friend, it could be a local consumable item that they can use up and then not have to worry about keeping a physical thing. You know what I mean? So that's something that I would personally like, like a bottle of wine, a bottle of scotch. And if you want to make it feel like a cohesive gift, then I would put it in like a wicker basket and wrap it up. Maybe not with plastic, maybe with like a bandana or a piece of cloth or something like that. That'd be super cute. It's practical and it's thoughtful. And when you're done with it, you just use it up and it's not your problem anymore. Someone in my comments said um, that they've been doing a lot of activities with their families as gifts. So going to a sports game or a concert, getting concert tickets. That's what I did for my boyfriend for his birthday. I got him um, this country artist that he really likes, Charlie Crockett, I got him some tickets. Also, if you're into spending quality time with your loved ones, you can book them a museum entry or um, do a series of museum days. That'd be super fun. Um, if there's an exhibit that's coming out, you can book something for them. Next on the list, I have a subscription or a membership, which I kind of went over a little bit before, but New York Times has a fantastic app, right? And the New York Times cooking comes along with New York Times, and that cooking app is also fantastic. So if you get someone a year subscription to that, I mean, what can go wrong, right? But there's also Bon Appetit has a uh, a subscription service. There's some local blogs that have subscription services too, like the eSarder for instance. If you get someone a subscription like that, it's information, right? Which is priceless. Obviously we have HBO, Netflix, Hulu, but then there's also Criterion Collection, which is fantastic. I have that subscription and I, I'm constantly inspired by it. So I really love the Criterion Collection. I do highly recommend it if you're into art films like that. Okay, so now onto some physical items. This is something that I would personally really like. Um, I noticed, I think Jenny from where I live, the YouTuber, she had this in her apartment in New York and I thought it was such a fantastic idea, but she had this big, huge pot and it's filled with different herbs. So like basil, thyme, 
um, rosemary, oregano probably, chives, and it was just in this big, um, I don't know, maybe 24 by 24 pot, and it was in her kitchen, and I never think to put together something like that, and I know it's like super easy to put something together like that, but if you know someone who really likes to cook, but constantly buys herbs individually, then maybe assemble something like that for them. It's a living, growing thing in their kitchen that they use every day. Someone in the comments recommended this and I think it's such a fantastic idea. It's a photo book of cats or their cat. So I was thinking if you go through someone's Instagram and start printing out photos that they have a theme of, like let's say they're really into photos of the beach, of them at the beach, then like print out a series of that and put it in a photo book. Or if they're really into their pet, um, print out only the photos that they have of their pet. They took these photos so they know it's good. They already have an emotional attachment to it. I know I talked about this last year, but um, my friend made me a cassette and I really liked it because all the songs were very personal. So if you made a playlist or a mix CD, or if you have access to it, a cassette, if the person that you're making it for listens to cassettes. The thing that it takes the most of is not money, but time, and time is valuable. So yeah, very thoughtful gift in my opinion. I was at a Hanukkah party yesterday and this woman brought some gifts for her uh, best friend's daughter and son. And the daughter was opening up all the presents, like individually, everything was individually wrapped, right? And she was opening everything up and she was like, oh, this is cute, this is awesome, whatever, you know? Like super excited about everything. And then I talked to her, not the daughter, but the person who gave the gift afterwards. I'm like, hey, that was really thoughtful of you for packing all those individual gifts and it seemed like they were really stoked on it. And then she's like, yeah, I'm kind of a hoarder. So I um, I just kind of went around my house and like looked at things that I like that I think that this person would like. So, um, and then wrapped those things up. So not only is she getting rid of things, she's giving things um, that she likes to other people. I love tchotchkes and I don't necessarily need all these tchotchkes and throughout the year I've been leaving out things outside um, that I love but I don't have a purpose anymore for um, and I know it's like really good stuff but I want I just want people to have it so then I've been leaving things out like in my front yard for people to take um, but if I kept it like kind of cataloged or archived I could have gone through everything a lot of like vintage glass and a lot of vintage items, which are really good things, but I just live in a pretty small space, so I didn't have a use for them. I was going around my house and I was looking for little tchotchkes that could be an example of this, because oftentimes vintage and antique items only go up in value, right? So I have this Karl Abach foot. I know it seems like nothing, but it's like worth like $500 now, which is insane. And I actually use this as a face tool every once in a while, because it is just brass and it's cold. So like de-puffing or facial massaging. A tchotchke like this, which serves no function really, it's just a nice thing to look at. I actually bought this. There's a bunch of different shapes. Um, but this was at a craft museum and I really like it because it's also brass. And <laughs> I just think it's really cute. Yeah, it serves no purpose at all, but it just looks good on a stack of books or on uh, on a shelf. I also just love fidgeting with this, you know, like sitting on the couch watching Netflix or something like that and then fidgeting with these type of things. Go around your house and look for things that you've forgotten about, you know, <laughs> but you've loved at some point. It's just if you keep things in the same place without moving them around, um, I tend to neglect them. I don't know if you do, but I tend to neglect them. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have time to go out and look for something, then rehouse something that you already have and loved. So those are some of my suggestions for gifts, as well as suggestions from you guys. Thank you so much if you um, left a comment in the last video to share some of these things. Um, if you have any additional suggestions, please leave a comment down below because we can all learn from each other. I know these are stressful times. Thank you for watching. If you need any more ideas, I make one of these videos every year, so I'll leave some in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!